Hello everybody, good morning. So I've been down for breakfast. Uh, I've just come back up to brush my teeth, which I've done, and put on my suntan lotion, which I've just finished doing. And then I'm gonna go down to the pool, and then this afternoon, my sister has booked me, my mum, and my sister in for a massage at the spa. So I'm really looking forward to that, because my back is a mess. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to having a massage. So I'm just popping my sandals back on, and then I'm gonna go meet everyone down by the pool. My niece kept flip-flopping on whether she, what she wanted to do today. So, um, cause there's a thing called kids club, um, where she, uh, can just spend the day with all the other kids and they, um, do lots of activities with them. Um, so we're saying that at breakfast, we were just sat there going, so Luce, do you want to go kids club this morning? Or do you want to stay with, uh, us and have a swim and then do kids club this afternoon? And at first she wanted to stay with us and then she takes her mind and says she wanted to do kids club. Just, they're just amazing down there. They know who she is. They're always, they're always really, really friendly. It's just a really, really nice club for the kids to do activities and things. We obviously, obviously, we have to stay on site um, when she's in kids' club, but that's fine because there's so much to do here. There's theatres. Um, I mean, as I said, today we're in the spa at three o'clock and then we're going to have an early dinner because we're booked in to see a show in one of the theatres tonight. Um, Sorry, it's a new one, so my sister and my brother-in-law haven't seen it yet either because uh, they were here last year and then we have, me and my mum and my dad have come out in kind of in the middle of their holiday because uh, they're here for two weeks, we're only here for a week but we've come like bang in the middle of theirs. So we've got a hydro pool for about an hour, I think, before our massages and uh, I am just so looking forward to it. I don't know if you can tell but my shoulder's like up here all the time it's because I've just got so much energy in my shoulders. So I'm going to be that person who goes in and say, I just really need you to focus on my back. <laughs> I've got a bit of inflammation on one of my teeth at the moment. Mm. You, really got, you can just feel like a bit of a sore gum. Mm. It's really annoying. I'm just going to drink lots of water. I'll brush my teeth anyway. So I'm still making my way through all the West End Live videos. So many of them. But they, cut, but they pull down the Cinderella one and I don't know why. Put it back up again. We want to see it. It's so good. Yeah, I'm going to get myself sorted. And go back down to the pool, yay. Hey again, so back at the room for a bit. Um, it is two o'clock and we've got that massage is booked in for three. So I'm just having a little bit of downtime before we head down to the spa. So I'll be heading down again in for a half an hour. I'll probably meet them about half two. I was so looking forward to the spa, and then we're seeing a show tonight in one of the theatres. Um, I think there's two theatres here. Um, and then we've just got a normal dinner tonight, and then tomorrow we're booked in for one of the Alicante restaurants. We're going to go to the steakhouse tomorrow, I think, and then we've also got, because today's Tuesday, and then on Thursday we're booked in for the Italian, I think. So we were supposed to get three a la carte, but the night that we thought it all been booked in by somebody else, um, mine and my parents' room hasn't wasn't put on it. Well, it was absolutely fine. We just went and had a nice dinner by ourselves in the buffet bit. And to be honest, the buffet is really good. It's really tasty. But yeah, so I've taken off the cover-up I had on this morning because I managed to get some toothpaste on it. So I just popped on some shorts and then I'm going to pop, grab a t-shirt to pop over my shoulders because uh, they have had a lot of sun this morning because I've been reading the third book of Discovery of Witches. I've been reading the Book of Life. It's a very, very good book. I cannot wait for season three of Discovery of Witches. It's going to be so good. But yeah, just chill for 20 minutes and then head down here to the spa. See you later. Hello everybody. I'm not bored. I'm just incredibly relaxed. I've made it to the spa. Um, I didn't take my phone or anything with me, um, so I didn't get any pictures or videos down there. Um, but it was just me, my mum and my sister together. And the way they did it was that so that you basically had the hydro pool to yourself. So me, my mum and my sister got very giggly down there. <laughs> We cannot be uh, put together in the same room sometimes because we just laugh lots. Um, but yeah, the hydro pool was amazing. We went into the sauna and me and my mum just looked at each other and went, it doesn't feel that warm in here. <laughs> uh, but we went into the steam room and it was boiling. And <laughs> we got a little silly and over through the glass to my sister, we were just doing this. <laughs> through the steam on the wall. <laughs> 
as you can tell we were very very silly <laughs> But yeah, so we had really, really good fun um, playing with all the jets and stuff in the hydro pool. And then we all had a 50 minute massage and I had a full body massage. And um, what was unique about it was that she used um, wheat bags, hot wheat bags throughout the treatment. I've never had that before. And she started with me face up. So she started on my neck and shoulders and my scalp. And then she went down and did my feet and my legs. And when she wasn't working on one, when she wasn't working on her legs, she'd put a hot wheat bag on it. And it felt beautiful. Oh, it was lovely. Um, and then she went up to my arms, and then she went into my neck and shoulders again, and went into my scalp again, and then she turned me over so I was face down on the bed. And then she went to my feet again, she did the back of my legs, it was, oh, it felt so good. And then she went into the back massage, and I didn't realise how much tension was in my lower back. Um, but she knew gave a really really good firm pressure and it just felt amazing oh, I just feel so relaxed and now it's 20 past five it, having dinner at half six we've got an early dinner tonight because we're seeing a show at the theatre there was a point I was thinking oh can I fill up a bath but I've been told it takes about half an hour to fill up a bath so I think I'll just have a shower tonight <laughs> uh, I can wash my hair because I've got lots of oil in it and I I know what dress I'm wearing tonight. <laughs> I know what dress. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not gonna pop some music on and rock out in the shower. Let's take those sandals off. Oh. But yeah, I'm very very chilled out. Ugh. Oh, and I think before. I'm not sure if I told you, there was a bit of an issue with the Wi-Fi. I went down and said, is anybody else struggling with the Wi-Fi? Because I've been logged out of everything, can't get back in again. They are just like, no, the Wi-Fi is down everywhere. So it wasn't just me. Um, but I've come back up and back on the Wi-Fi again. So that's good. <laughs> but yeah, it's shower time. See you guys later. So uh, this is the look for dinner and the show tonight. I ended up having a bath. I just looked at the time and just thought, I've been told it takes about 20 minutes, half an hour to fill up, so I might just have enough time to have a bath. And I did, it was lovely. Um, but yeah, this is the dress. I cannot remember where this is from. It might be Marks and Spencer's, I'm not completely sure. Uh, back to the trusty old gladiator sandals. Got my mask. I noticed my hair's looking a bit strawberry blonde at the moment. Or is it just the lighting? I don't know. But yeah, gotta go meet everybody downstairs. The show's supposed to be something about a dragon, I think. And um, it says it's family friendly, so money should enjoy it. But yeah, that's the outfit. Off to dinner. Yeah. <laughs>
everybody. I had a nice dinner. Uh, I had a bit of a funny tummy since yesterday lunchtime. I think I drank, I think I ate something that was quite oily and um, I don't have a gallbladder. So anybody who doesn't have a gallbladder who's quite young will probably know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Basically, because when I looked it up um, after I had my gallbladder, apparently the younger you are and the longer you go undiagnosed for, the more likely you are to have problems afterwards in your digestive system because bile is a natural laxative. Um, and I had a, a bit of an oily meal yesterday at lunch. And since then, both me and my mother, who was also gallbladderless, um, had some just funny tummies um, for about 24 hours. And then at dinner, I was saying at lunch, um, I was going up to lunch and I was just like, I'm not really sure where my tummy is at right now. And I was looking at food and going, no. I don't want that. It's like my tummy was telling me what it could eat and what it couldn't eat. And um, at dinner, I just poked up again and I had quite a nice meal and my tummy's been fine since then. So yeah, I think it's all flushed out of me. But um, if you can't tell, I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> uh, I had, because um, I drank just water at lunch today because I just wasn't in the mood for alcohol because when you have alcohol here they top it up very quickly so I was just like no I don't need any and then at dinner because I was feeling better I opted for a glass of uh, pink champagne which was very very nice and they didn't top it up which was nice so the words I'd be way more drunk than I am right now um, but yeah <laughs> It was a fabulous show that we saw tonight. Um, we were allowed to film during the show and take pictures. I only took one small clip um, at a particular point that really made me go, wow, I feel like I just need to capture this because it was so awesome. And so you'll probably have seen that before this. Before the show started, we got some drinks, but then it got to a point when the drinks still hadn't come out yet. And my sister and my niece had already gone into the theatre. And then we got a message saying, you need to come into the theatre because the show is starting. This was 10 minutes before the show was about to start, but it was supposed to be kind of like the history and the story before it went into the actual show. It was like the pre-show. So um, there was that. So I had about half a mojito before I went into the show. And then after the show, we came out and I had another mojito. And then my sister was naughty and then brought us out some babies. And my mum still wasn't drinking because my mum's been not been drinking for about 24 hours. So I ended up having her babies. So I had two babies. So that's pink champagne with my dinner, half a mojito, then a full mojito, and then two babies. You can imagine how I'm feeling right now. Yeah, so I do feel drunk. And even though I have had a few days of having my fids topped up with lunch and dinner, because I was eating, I wasn't that aware of it. But tonight, I am definitely drunk. People tell me the Essex in me comes out when I'm drunk, so I guess we'll find out later when I'm editing this. To be honest, I can hear it slightly. Just slightly. Anyway, um, I'm going to watch some YouTube videos while I wind down. I need to brush my teeth. Yeah, and we are booked in for breakfast in the morning, but we, I think we're just going to sleep in <laughs> and see what happens. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so tomorrow we will have a video coming out, but I have no idea of what. <laughs> I can't remember what video we've just had, so I need to get my iPad out of the safe. <coughs> my massage today was absolutely fantastic. Probably not a good idea to drink after you've had a massage, but oh well. <laughs> At some point, I need to untuck this bed because I mean, these are the cleanest lines. I mean, like hospital corners, like these guys who do these beds are miracle workers because it takes a lot of work to get into this bed. Um, yeah, I was going to find out what YouTube video is out tomorrow. I don't even know what the date is. It is 21st of September today. So it'll be a book because my last video was, so this is Love from Cinderella. It tells you how far in advance I film these. I'm looking for the 22nd of September. Oh, so it's going to be pear-shaped. 
The book Pear Shape by Stella Newman is the video coming out tomorrow. So let's download that thumbnail so I can post it on my socials tomorrow. When I say my socials, I mean Instagram and Facebook because that's all I've got. I used to have a Twitter account, but it wasn't good for me mentally and I felt like the world was falling apart and had a bit of a mental breakdown. So uh, yeah, if social media makes you feel like that, just get rid of it, people. If it really does mess with you that much, it's sometimes you think that the pros outweigh the cons, but actually the cons are taking over your life and the pros aren't doing enough to keep you out. So, yeah, if you're aware of what it's doing to you, just delete it. Seriously. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to watch some YouTube videos. Ooh, Carrie Hope Fletcher has posted a story. Ooh, Prattle and Pages, her book thing. I've got some videos to watch, but yeah. So, good night. I'm going to... Yeah, it's 10 to 10, so I need to get changed, brush my teeth. Good night. Good morning, everybody. So, I am going to put my iPad in the safe. I'm in a swimming costume today. I've gone from my purple swimming costume. And so I've got something nice to dress into for, like, food. I popped on a dress, and then I've got my orange cover-up that's going in my bag as well. Let's lock the safe. So that's all safely popped away. This is what I've opted for today. Again, trusty these. I think I might put my flip flops in the bag. I think I might take my flip flops down in my bag as well, just because they're easy to slip on. They're painful, but they're easy to slip on when you buy the pool and you just need to go get a drink or pop to the toilet or something. So those will go in my bag. I'll just lie down there. Did I show you my uh, flamingos? <laughs> the towel clips. And my niece calls them flamingos rather than flamingos, so it's stuck. They're just flamingos now. I was thinking, if I ever have a fan club, flamingos. <laughs> so I've got my mask, I've got my sunglasses, I've got my drink, I've got my book. I've got a purse in case I need it. I picked up some more. Toothpaste. I just, had, I just had a travel size one and it ran out. So, fortunately, the little shop here has absolutely everything, which is fantastic. So, that's my pajamas. So, I'll just pop those up here. I find it really sweet that they fold everything for you if it's out. <laughs> I'm covered in Santan lotion now because, yeah, that's my uh, face stuff. Um, I've missed breakfast because we decided to have a bit of sleep in this morning. So I was there thinking, will I make it to the 10 o'clock one? And then I messaged um, people and just said, are you guys at still at breakfast because I might come down? And they were just like, no, we finished. It was like, oh, okay, then I'm not going to go down by myself because I just, I don't like the idea of doing that. So um, instead, I'm going to uh, get something from the snack bar. It's a, they say it's a snack bar, it's not, but it's more than snacks. I had a wrap and chips for breakfast the other day. Um, but I think there's some salads on there and burgers and things, so... Yeah, I'll just get something. I'll probably just get the wrap again because that was really, really nice. Um, I think that opens at half ten. and It's ten past ten now, so I shouldn't be far off being able to get that for my breakfast or brunch. Towel. Well, that falls off. That's my bag with everything in it. Oh, I might need to get my lip seal because I've got a... This one's Factor 30, I think, isn't it? Yeah, Nivea Sun Protect Factor 30. This stuff is great because it means that I won't burn my lips because the last time I burnt my lips, I ended up with a cold sore. So, um, for future reference people, if you are prone to cold sores, there's a good chance you'll get a cold sore if you ever burn your lips. While I'm here, I will just say, for anybody else who does get cold sores, lysim. I take one of these every day. I've taken two while I've been in the heat, uh, just in case. Um, but this stuff, even though there hasn't been enough research to prove it works, it does. It's more, because, I mean, it's a cold sore. Like, this isn't, like, in my head. Like, apart from the time when I burnt my lip and got a cold sore, I haven't had a proper cold sore in, like, four years. So, just saying, if you print cold sores, I would gladly be sponsored by Holland and Barrett, though I'm not. Um, but, yeah. And it's suitable for vegetarians and vegans. And you just take one of these every day, and it sorts you out. <laughs> I have also found out that um, 
your, I think it's lysine production goes down when you've got a cold sore, um, the natural lysine in your body. And when I am about to get a cold sore, I usually crave dairy milk. And um, it's because dairy has lysine in it. So it's like my body knows what it needs. <laughs> when I get a cold sore, I always crave milk, um, like just before it starts tingling. So that's a very interesting thing about the human body. I am gonna go down and uh, grab my lounger and then go have some breakfast. So, see you. I feel very chill this morning. Had a really, really good night's sleep. Bye-bye. <laughs>